Hey guys, welcome to Reed and Robin's Reed Solos playing the Stanley Parable, part three. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Right, so first we're going to attempt this. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Yes. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, no, no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. Amazingly fine clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Hang on. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, yeah. almost certainly 50 clicks. I'm not counting. But this is fun. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see yes. some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? How many? 20. Times on door four three seven. They can count. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now door four one five. Let's give it ten clicks or so. Back to door number 437. This is really fun. Wait, no. Sir. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> this guy's brilliant. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Yes, this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. We've almost got it. Now the copy machine. Do that one again. <laughs> this guy is the best. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Yes! Yes! We did it! We got the achievement, oh, guys. wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? <laughs> Right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This That's was not right. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. See if we can go. Oh, no. Right, so now back in the normal way. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm going downstairs this time, guys. We're going downstairs. But 
But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Yeah. And as Stanley pondered this, yeah. he began to make other yeah. strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors oh, yeah. close automatically behind him wherever yeah. he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! <laughs> he yelled. This is all a dream! Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. No. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Looks like cocaine. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, what? who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Well, and while he thought it all very odd, this and is my this voice way. spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job all I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. <laughs> oh, we're back here. I thought I was going to be in. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be Can anyone hear my voice? And everything went black. No. <laughs> That's amazing. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. See, my wife. That's my wife. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, 
for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. <laughs> At the end. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, tell us if you want more. Definitely subscribe, it helps us out. Uh, see you next one guys. Bye.